Welcome back to this week's episode of Cooking with Paige. I'm your host, Paige. Last week we talked about college, so to continue with that theme, let's talk about something that you can easily take with you, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, I'm going to start off with a joke. Why can't you tell peanut butter a secret? Keep it in mind while I teach you how to make it. We're going to be going over three things. The history of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, the, how it benefits you, and how to obviously make the sandwich. Let's get eating. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich actually became known in the early 1900s by someone named Julia Chandler. Um, it was actually known as a fancy pants food, so they would actually eat these at really nice dinners before like special events, and it was a really big thing in New York. Um, so yeah, so according to Sweet Revolution, this the peanut butter and jelly sandwich actually benefits you because it's cheaper, it's easier to make at home, it's actually healthier for you because it's your own ingredients, and it's obviously easy to take with you to college. So now we're going to get into how you actually make <coughs> the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, you're going to take two pieces of bread, like this, <laughs> and there's lots of different types of bread you can have whole wheat, you can have white, you can have butter bread, you can have rye, you can have flat bread. There's lots of different types. Um, I think they're probably all really good. Then you're going to take your knife and stick it in some peanut butter. And my favorite's crunchy, but my mom made me bring smooth. Smooth and creamy is pretty good too. There's lots of different kinds. There's almond butter, which is really good for you. And you're just going to spread the peanut butter out all over your sandwich for your bread. Um, I really like peanut butter, so I'm probably going to put some on my other piece of bread. Some people don't. Some people just like it on one. They don't like a lot of peanut butter, but I'm probably going to put a little bit on both pieces. Um, then, doesn't look great, but then we're going to take our jelly. Um, I only like grape jelly, but a lot of people like strawberry jelly or like raspberry jelly or lots of different weird names of jelly. Um, well, this is my favorite. I can't even get it out of this jar, but it's cool. <laughs> so I'm just going <laughs> to put some on here. And I don't like a lot of jelly because I like peanut butter more, but um, I also like to use the score bottle jelly, but we just only had jars. So. Um, you're just going to spread it out. It's kind of hard to spread, but it's okay. Um, so then I only put that on one side of the bread, just like that. Okay. Then you're going to take your two pieces and push, smush them together to make a nice sandwich. Um, I personally always ask my mom when she makes them for me to put them in triangles because I think they just taste better that way. So I'm going to cut mine in triangles, um, but people can cut it in like, Rectangles. Some people like it on like for uncrustables and all that. So, and there's your sandwich. Looks great. Um, so today we went over how or the history of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, um, how it actually benefits you, and the steps of making the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I hope you all thought about that joke. How? Why can't you tell peanut butter a secret? because it'll just spread. Finish. That's all the time we have for today, so thank you for watching, and stay tuned for next week um, on Cooking with Paige. Thank you.